So, we are first going to discuss exponential equations. And there are two types of exponential equations, and I call them, personally, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 exponential equations, um, we can create the same base. So, um, what I mean by the very basic one, you know, 2 to the x is equal to 4. So I can create the same base by putting base 2 on the right-hand side. Once the bases are the same, then you can drop them and set the um, exponents equal to each other. So this is type 1, where you can create the same base. Type 2, I'm not going to show how to solve that yet, but you cannot create the same base. So like 2 to the x is equal to 5. There's no way that I could write 5 as an exponential with um, base 2. So this is a, there's another method that we use to solve these type of equations. So right now I'm just going to focus on type 1 where I can actually create the same base on both sides. Um, but you do have to know a lot of your um, properties of exponents and then different powers of numbers. So if I look at this, this is example 1, 8 to the 1 minus x is equal to 4 to the x plus 2. You know, 8 is a multiple of 4, but I can't raise 4 to any exponent to get 8. But they both can be represented as base 2. 8 can be represented as base 2, and so can 4. So this is a type 1 exponential equation. I can create the same base on both sides. What I'm going to do is replace 8 with 2 to the third, because that is the same as 8. And that is being raised to the 1 minus x, bring the equal sign down. And 2 to the second is going to replace 4, and that's being raised to the x, x plus 2. So I have created the same base, but now I have some properties of exponents to simplify before I can actually what we call drop the bases. So I'm taking a power of a power. So when we do that, we multiply the exponents. But when I multiply 3 times 1 minus x, don't forget that that 3 has to distribute. So this becomes a 3 minus 3x. Three same thing here, that 2 has to distribute because I'm multiplying this 2 by this whole x plus 2. 2 to the 2x plus 4. And now I have a single base on the left, single term on the right. Both of the bases match. So if these are equal to each other, then that means that the exponents must be equal to each other. And I could drop the bases and solve the rest of this, which is a nice, easy kind of thing. Um, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides to bring all my variable terms on the left and all my constant terms on the right. So I have a negative 5x, and then subtracting 3 is equal to 1. Divide both sides by negative 5. I get x is negative 1 fifth for this case. Um, an exponent can be any number. There are no limitations to what I could plug in here. So I don't have to check my solution or anything. You'll see later that there will be limitations to what we can get for our solutions, especially when we get to logarithmic equations. But right now, anything can be you know, plugged into an exponent. So this is my solution to this equation. Um, I want to do another one real quick, just with a couple more um, properties of exponents. So example two, let's say I have three to the x plus one times one over nine is equal to 27 to the x. So there's a couple more things that I want to do here. Obviously, it's an exponential equation because the x's are in the exponents. And um, I, I'm looking at all the bases. I have a 3 and 9 and a 27. And the thing is that 3, 9, and 27 can all be written to have a base of 3. So this is a type 1 exponential equation. I can create the same base everywhere. So this 3 is already of base 3. But this 1 over 9, I'm going to write it as 3 squared. And then I, have to, don't for, I still have stuff to do with that. 27 is 3 to the third, and that's being raised to the x. So everything has the same base, but now I have properties of exponents that I need to do to, to simplify and bring everything together. Um, so before I do anything between 3 to the x plus 1, I need to rewrite this so that 3 squared comes up on top of the fraction. And when I do that, 3 to the negative 2 is the same thing as 1 over 3 squared. So that's one of my properties of exponents. Here I'm multiplying exponents because I'm taking a power of a power. So, you know, be careful. Your rules of exponents pop up. What do I do when I'm multiplying two terms with the same base? Well, we keep the base and we add the exponents. x plus 1 plus negative 2 is equal to 3 to the 3x. So I'm, I'm adding the exponents because I'm multiplying the bases. The only time you multiply exponents is when you have a power of power. 3 to the x minus 1 is equal to 3 to the 3x. 
So I had to do a little manipulation, right, to be able to get a single term on the left and a single term on the right. Now they have the same base. If these two um, terms are equal, then that means that the exponents must be equal to each other. And I can go ahead and um, uh, drop the bases. I'm going to bring all my x's to one side. So I have negative 1 is equal to 2x. I'm going to rewrite that as 2x is equal to negative 1 just to bring my variable term on the left. It's just swapping left and right. Divide both sides by 2. x is negative 1 half. And that's my solution. Now these are type 1 exponential equations.